So, okay, there was an arm break in Larry Wheel's channel, which Larry Wheel titles as unexplainable. So, let's take a look at it. Instead of trying to push towards the pad, pull this way. Mm. Pull towards your side. Oh! Oh! As you can see from the video, the guy, when, when he breaks his arm, he is like the Larry Wheel's friend, the bald guy. He says that do not pull to the pad, pull like a track to back pressure. Because what he was doing was pure side pressure. Like you can see, the, so he had a, like a very dangerous position even though he wasn't looking away from his arm because, because let's draw a little bit. Like the arm break precision is not only that if look if you look away from your arm, but it is the arm break is very likely when the line from your shoulder to your fist is perpendicular to the force vector you are trying to create. Like for example, here is our person from above, there is the nose, and there is the head, and there is the torso from above, and here is their fist, and here comes the arm. This is from above. So the arm break can also happen not only when you look away from your fist, but also when, when this line the line from the shoulder to the fist is perpendicular to the force vector you are trying to create. As you can see from this, since Larry Wheels is not pulling directly back to this direction, but he is kind of pulling to his side of the like this corner of the table on his side is pulling there. So this person is now pulling to trying to create a force vector like this. He's trying to take this arm, this hand to this direction. And hence she's creating a force vector that is to this direction. And it's perpendicular now to this, this line from shoulder to the fist. And I guess Larry Wheels isn't, cannot like sense this, cannot feel out when a person is doing this. And hence it became, it was to him unexplainable. But in almost every case when a, uh, some type of uh, elite arm wrestler or very knowledgeable person in arm wrestler uh, coaches a person who is pulling for the first time, like he, the bold guy, the Larry Wheels friend, was also saying, do not pull to the pad, pull to back. Because if he would have pulled to the back, his force vector would have been to this direction. You see that it's not so much side pressure then. If you from this position pull straight back and not to the pin pad. Because he was going straight to the pin pad, he was using only side pressure because the force vector he is trying to generate is perpendicular to this line from shoulder to the fist. Like his friend was saying, pull back, meaning that try to create a force vector to this direction, because in that case, you would have, this would have been, the, this would have been the force you are trying to like counteract. 
and this would, in the other situation, this would have been the force you are trying to counteract by creating this force vector, which is also perpendicular to your arm. Anyways, but the example, like like he was trying to also point this out, but a lot of a lot of elite arm wrestler also point this out. For example, if we go to the video over the, I think it was Derek Smith or something, and Brian saw then he was coaching Brian, like Brian also is trying to get to this position. Because people, when they first start doing arm wrestling, they this is maybe the the intuition to do arm wrestling is to do this, and and some elite people do it also, but or obviously their bones are more condition conditioned. But for the new guy, every time these people who are like knowledgeable on it, for for prohibit him from doing this. Like for example, Brian tries to do it. Same thing, this one, I'll go into the hook with you a little bit. Okay. Um, once we get in there, I'm gonna attack I'm gonna target your bicep a little bit. So we'll get we'll be in there and then I'm gonna be giving you like a lot of this pressure. Okay. Right? And then uh, and then I'm gonna try to come here. Okay. Not too much shoulder because that that's that spiral pressure right there, right? We want yeah. backwards. We want once you get in there, you opening up driving everything back to your elbow. Did you hear that? Brian was trying to go side pressure, full side pressure, and direct was that no, don't do that, do back pressure, because he was just showing to an elite strength sport athlete arm wrestling, so that he doesn't want uh, Brian to max out side pressure in his practice because this outcome would be very likely because Brian probably has a very strong side pressure but his bones are not conditioned to use it so it would result very likely with a, for an it would result to arm break very likely if if Derek would allow Brian to use the side pressure he was. That's the spiral pressure right there, right? We want yeah. backwards. We want, once you get in there, you open. So that's the explanation why this happened. If it's unexplainable for some people. So it's not only. It's not only dangerous to. Like. It's not only. Dangerous to do side pressure like this, where you have you have arm like this, in which you are not not now looking the arm. This is not only dangerous. But this is also dangerous for the same reason that in this also. When people are doing this, they're trying to do it like this. This force vector they are trying to generate is perpendicular to this line, which is from the fist to the soldier, in both of these instances. Now in this instance, the, the other person would be here. Probably, let's say he is very strong, and he is arm wrestling from this position, and the other person is now looking away from the table. He is still still trying go to straight to the bat with this thing, but now he is looking away, and it's very dangerous because with this. Position you can generate more, more pressure, which is then more likely. That it results to the situation that it's now more likely for you to break your humerus bone with the spiral fractal, because you bones if your bones are not conditioned to this kind of side pressure.
but this same situation, which is that this force vector and this force vector is perpendicular to this line, also can happen this way. If you just are in this position and you are going straight to the pad. And that's the reason why Derek Smith is very careful with Brian to point out that Brian should not do that. And that was the reason why Larry Veer's partner was saying, do not go to the straight to the pad, because it's, he sees that he is going straight to the pad, because his shoulder is so forward. Like with this image, you can see he's trying to go here. And here's the pin pad. His shoulder will be very forward. And the other position where the same principle happens is if you look away and you again go straight to the pin pad from this direction. So it would be safer to pull toward yourself and not away, not not like not perpendicular to this line so the break the more accurate way to say what the break arm position is to say you shouldn't pull perpendicular to the shoulder fist line okay that's all bye